Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this will get up and you guys will see this. I'm not sure what's going on with my computer or my camera, but I recorded a couple videos. I put them in my computer. You could watch back on the camera. It works fine. You put it in the computer and the, the files are corrupt. So I'm not exactly sure and I, I have so many things that I want to get through and I've been trying to figure out what's going on with my computer. I, I, at this point I really just don't know so hopefully if you guys are seeing this I might have figured something out. I even took to recording things on my phone I can show you and for some reason you know how iPhones everything syncs. Um, it just won't sync to my computer for some reason so so you guys don't think I'm lying I will show you I'm, I've been trying my best I have hundred and sixty four videos okay so I can vlog I can do all of this I tried to do my favorites the other day from um, the bathroom I was like so serious about it. I'm like David watch Denver I gotta record I recorded the video I made sure to like splice it up and I still can't get the video off of my phone so hopefully you guys are seeing this I kind of just wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me this is not gonna be anything crazy um, the looks not gonna be anything crazy I have some of my brushes here I think I just want to grab my mascara I bought a new mascara And I'm recording right now, sitting um, in front of my patio, so I have natural lighting. My desk is right next to me. That has natural lighting as well, um, but the sun is setting, so it's it's kind of dark on this side. I have my studio lights, but I was like, let me just see if this will work. Hopefully, it's okay. We're just really doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, so I'm gonna just prime my eyes really fast. So. I'm so sorry I've been missing for so long. That's definitely not my plan. I really was back in the um, the swing of things. I had two videos that were already pre-recorded, and um, like you got, like I told you guys that that last video, I went to edit the uh, makeup that I carry with me when I travel, and or brushes. Well, it was really makeup because it was everything, and that video turned out to be 30 minutes. And I'm like, I don't think anybody really wants to hear me talk for 30 minutes about um, makeup that I took on vacation with me. So this is just the AOA Studio um, primer. We're gonna do something super basic. I already did my eyebrows. Am I in focus? So we're gonna play a little catch up. This is just my palette that I made um, from like Coastal Scents and like single shadows. I'm probably gonna update this soon because we're switching seasons and this is very you can use this really in any season, but I think I want to just update it. I hit pan on four of the shades, well, about five of the shades. So, um, so yeah. So life has been life. Life has been. Life has just been, you know. Um, when it rains, it pours in a sense. But finally, I've gotten a hold of things. I've been really stressed out um, with work, and I don't like saying that. I don't like that feeling of feeling stressed out because the whole point of me leaving my old job was to not be stressed out, and then I get into this situation, and I find my stress out. So I find myself a little more stressed out. And um, I was talking to my twin because we actually work within the same company. We pretty much do the same job just in two different districts and she's like Sherelle you're just putting too much stress on yourself you know you want to do a great job because that's just who you are she's like but you have to remember there's a lot of factors that go into what we do and you know um, delivering outcomes and my the section that I work in is a little different than what my sister does because the um, it's just a little different I don't know if I should get into detail but it's just a little different than what my sister does but um, what I do heavily relies on outcomes and I'm always so stressed out about my outcomes that I, I just want to do a good job, you know what I mean? And I think I'm doing a good job, but sometimes you just don't know. But um, yeah, so anywho, Denver is <gasps> today. Today he makes a year and a half. I'm so proud of my Bubba's. He's just so big, he's so funny, but he legit gave me a run for my money. This past week, um, David had to go out of town for business, 
and literally it was me and Denny from sun up to sundown and oh my gosh he gave me a run for my money I'm not a drinker guys I legit was like I need something because <sighs> Um, having David, having a partner that's really hands-on is such a blessing. I don't know how single moms do it. You guys are the real ones, like for real. And he literally just gave me a run for my money, like to the point of where he, he was crying so bad one day, I had to call David and I'm just like, talk to him. Literally, David got on the phone, he's like, hi, da, da. I'm like, really, Denver? Really gotta, you really gotta do me like that. But, um, yeah, so just a lot has been going on. I want to get into, okay, so if we can get down to the real nitty nitty gritty 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 gritty, right? So, as you guys know, for the past little bit, I've been a little, um, I've been at like somewhat, let me, should I zoom out? I feel like this is messing me up. Let me move the curtain. I, okay, so you guys know for the past little bit, I've just kind of trying to been trying to figure out where my channel is going. Am I coming? Am I going? Am I just going to retire? I guess you can say, um, like what is my heart telling me to do? And for me, it's really hard to leave something that I really love to do because it really is a hobby at this point. I'm not really making anything from YouTube. Um, I'll be honest. It's not enough to quit a job, I'll say. And Ooh, with that being said, I kind of have to like really think about what's going on and I don't want to quit But I kind of figure out I have to figure out like a uh, What's gonna work for me? You have to be honest with yourself and um, Views and all that stuff count But engagement for me counts more I rather I started off just on, on engagement like I was excited when 10 people would watch my videos You know so it's I'm still excited about that but in order to get like to work with brands and deals and all that stuff, they want to see that you have numbers. So for me, it's still so far out of out of out of the realm because I'm still so low in numbers, which is sad. But that's just my my reality, you know. Um, there's so more so many more girls that are way more consistent than I am, which I get. In order to grow, you have to be consistent. Um, and at this point in my life, it's a little harder to be consistent. Like I said in pr previous videos now that I'm a mom, when it was just single rally and I didn't have to think about anything, of course, I could do three, four, five videos in a day and not feel guilty. But if I sit down and do, you know, try to do three videos on a Saturday, poor Denver's in the house all day. Like, that's not fair to him, you know? So I'm just trying to figure out what is best, what's gonna work best. I might just have to go back to, I, am I blurry? I might just have to go back to um, pre-recording a whole bunch and just setting up my schedule that way. That might work. I, I'm not exactly sure. And I know to c continue on with doing like makeup and makeup reviews, nobody cares to see tutorials anymore, so that's kind of out. And to edit tutorials and do the work that ta that it takes to make a tutorial, tutorials actually take a long time to edit. It may take you maybe an hour, you know, to record, depending on if you're doing a talk through. If it's a talk through, maybe two hours. A lot of times I just like to do voiceovers because it's, it's a little easier. But it can take a whole day, a day and a half to edit, you know? So if people aren't watching that, what's the point of making them? But then it's also like to go out and do reviews and spend my own money on makeup that I possibly only use once because I do, did the review. If I like it, you know, keep it. If you don't, it's back to the end of the drawer. That's wasteful. And I don't have money to be wasting, especially trying to buy a house. So I'm just kind of in the mix of like, where do you fit now within this, um community or, or in this within this space where do you actually fit your in your life do you see it as beneficial to go out and, and spend all this money on products that don't really serve you so that's what I'm trying to figure out I've really edited down my collection I'm really trying to get through um, the items that I do have I pretty much have been on a no buy all year like I said I've been really um, focused on purchasing a home we just purchased a new car which is great um, so now we have our two cars and we're on to a home we were supposed to buy one a while back but just you know things things you gotta 
houses are very expensive and they're huge purchases and I just want to make sure we're doing the right thing so um, I'm really just saving my money and in order to save my money that means I can't be buying things that I don't really need or I'm gonna use you know as much as I want to be up keep keep be keeping up with the Joneses these girls also go pay they they get sent the product and about half of them get paid to talk about the product so it's like for me to go out and do all of that it's just it's a little too much for me that's where the stress comes in you know and I'm just being honest with you guys so I feel like I can do like get ready with me's and um, maybe more fashion videos I am starting I am gonna be making Denver's um, Halloween costume this year let me try to do my makeup um, Denver's Halloween costume this year so maybe I can record that I think it might just have to turn more into like a lifestyle vlogging channel that does have vegan cruelty free um, components to it I guess you can say instead of just more solely makeup based because I, I like if I were to go out and buy every single release everything that's even cruelty free and vegan stuff they're coming out pretty often but to spend all this money on products that are just that, that just have an expiration date I can't really see myself doing it or I could but is that really what's going to serve me and make me happy probably not so I will purchase things that are intriguing to me I will purchase things that I know I will use again. I can also purchase and return things that I know I'm not going to use. I just hate to purchase and return. That's not... I just hate doing that. That's not me. Um, so... I think maybe those videos were corrupt I, for a reason. Maybe to, for me to like really think over what's going on. So yeah, so I also in my phone, David and I did the video of us um, answering the questions that were asked on one of the videos, but I can't get the stuff off of my phone, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to buy a new computer. Ugh, talk about spending money, right? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I stand on it. I don't know how you guys stand or see it. Um, I really appreciate everybody rocking with me for the past however many years and and being such a source, source of encouragement and, you know, feeling like I have friends through, through the inter internet space. I think that's really, really cool. A lot of you guys have seen the growth of me through the years, which I really appreciate. You've seen my family through ups and downs, through losses and um, births and kids going to school and just so many great things I think that's so cool and I would never just want to just stop wholeheartedly and just say that's it because um, I really love I really love this I really love what I do here I just kind of have to re figure out my space just like I have to figure out my life and figure out how to navigate through motherhood and and um, wifehood and sisterhood and all that stuff I think it's the same thing with YouTube because I don't have the time sometimes or the energy sometimes or the space to even have a clear thought I kind of have to navigate myself through those streets so um, I appreciate you guys sticking with me and being patient it's it's very hard trust me like I've been trying to get to the ipsy studio for the past two months now I just can't really seem to fit it in um, so I mean it would be such a blessing if it was a full-time job but until we get to that point I kind of just have to navigate you know my way a little better so and this wing is super fat I know it okay so is this dirty I can't tell oh my gosh I want and I, I, I will continue to feel this way and always be this way I want my channel to be a source of calm and comfort and learning things and joking um, and just keep it really lighthearted I know that things have really shifted within this space I guess you could call it the beauty space I um, mean, I don't really care for that. I don't like drama channels. I don't watch drama channels. But I, from watching other people that I really like, I can tell things have happened. Um, and I don't want that for myself. And I don't want you guys to get sucked into it. Because that's not a positive thing to um, put yourself in. We have one mind, one body, one soul, one spirit. And to waste it on 
on bad toxic energy like that it doesn't bring you anything so I'm just saying that you guys can do whatever you want but I know what I want for my life um, so my re routines lately I have been getting up a little later but I need to start getting up again and start doing my um, devotional a little earlier so I have more time in my day for myself I'm just using the Milani um, conceal and perfect foundation in amber 11 I'm gonna only use a little bit today um, only because I'm running a quick errand. I don't think I'm going to stay out too long. So, um, yeah. So, I really made myself, like, a, like, a, a limit, I guess you can say. You know how the new iPhones now will tell you your usage and how long you've been on the phone and, you know, what apps you've been using? That's kind of how I'm trying to work through my day. I don't like to spend too much time or energy on things that are not serving me or, um, all beneficial for growth you know I have a whole bunch of books that I have um, I purchased in past years that I haven't even really had a chance to take the time to read but now is the time to take that time to read so that's that's a goal and um, you know I have a son that's watching me if he always sees me on my phone all day unfortunately for work I am on the phone pretty often but if he sees when mommy's not working that she's just on her phone all day that's not cool either so I really take out some time during my day to, to take a walk with him put him in his um his little stroller and we go for a little stroll around the, the neighborhood and I just like to get outside even if it's us going to sit near the pool that's what we do I'm um, just gonna use the foundation palette the elf I'm gonna use this as concealer and like highlight um, and I'm gonna use this for the concealer and highlight and then that to probably contour so I'm just gonna use a stippling brush I don't know where my other brush went so yeah so um actually I'm gonna mix the top two colors I think because this is too stark uh, so that's really what I've been doing I've been trying to feed my soul with things that are a lot better for me and we'll see how that goes I'm somebody that's constantly seeking growth and you know you can't stay in the same place and expect growth so um, I'm getting up and doing things like that. I'm reading little snippets during the day. I'm trying to limit my social media intake because it's just, I mean, you know, when I die, I want it to mean something, not how many Instagram posts she liked, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so what have you guys been up to? Please let me know down below. If you guys have any cool things that you think I should learn or look into, please let me know as well. I've also been thinking about going back to school, but I don't want to go back to school and have student loans. I'd like to save up money to just pay for it right out of pocket if I'm going to go back. But then I also think in some cases what you learn in school you really could teach yourself depending on what it is so I'll see how it goes um yeah you know I'm just mixing the bottom two colors together to do a light contour so that's what's really going on here um yeah I'm constantly seeking growth uh, I've been talking to my sister about potentially starting a new business. Um, as you guys know, I was a small business owner for some years, and um, right around the time my mom, like right before my mom passed, we were looking to to start um, a company for like uh, faux leather handbags. And I sent out a couple samples. I never really heard back from you, which I guess is a good thing, but um, I sent out a package to a subscriber. She actually is a YouTuber as well. And I wanted to get feedback, but once my mom passed, it was kind of like a, I didn't have the drive to do it anymore, I guess you can say, because that was something that was, was between myself and my mom and I just wanted to really make her proud and when, once once that reality was that I would be running it by myself it, I kinda didn't want to do it anymore if that makes sense um, and anybody that's lost a parent you will you know what I'm talking about that that heaviness that you feel I mean it's a constant reminder so uh, my sister and I are thinking about starting a couple of businesses uh, things are still on the table as as of this at this point but 
I just, whatever the next thing that I do, I really want it to be something that lasts. Um, my mom was a business owner, my dad as well, so I have that entrepreneurial spirit, but, you know, oop. Um, we've been wanting to do a cookbook for the longest, and um, I think that would be really cool. I don't know how many people would be interested in, in a cookbook, but I've been, I, I, I have recipes. Um, the only problem with me is I know what goes in a dish, but to give you exact measurements, it's actually quite hard for me because it's more, I've been cooking for so long. My mom taught me from such a young age that you kind of just have to taste things. So I guess next time I make food, what actually I have been making food and writing down, um, you know, measurements and all that stuff. So hopefully that works out. I know David wants to embark on really getting into the personal training. We are back in the season of him training again. So I don't know how, how um, it's going to work out and what I can help him with. But if you guys would love to see like workouts and stuff, let me know. I'm back in the gym. <gasps> I just got an idea. Hmm. I think I'm going to start a new series. It's going to be very vlog style. Huh. Okay. Save that thought row. Um, should I do my favorites right after this? I probably should since I have makeup on. But yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on with me in a nutshell. I'll probably just do a little bit of blush here and leave the lips um, um yeah things things just ramped up we're coming off of summer vacations and stuff I didn't go on a vacation this um this year we're actually supposed to be going in September David told me and I'm like I didn't ask for clearance for time off so we're gonna have to stay local I guess I don't know we wanted to go on a cruise 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 Anywho, thanks so much for joining me today. I actually just stopped to eat really quick because David came home. Um, I ate and then I literally just went through like 10 different lip colors right now. So my lips probably look crazy. I had red, I had a bright red, a dark red, uh, a nude color then a deeper nude then like it was just all over the place so my lips how you look crazy right now that's right it's like a mix of a couple different colors but I have the Pacifica gloss on oh I just put it away Pacifica gloss um, on I believe in the color opal is that opal opal Pacifica gloss so anywho that's what's really been going on with me in the past couple little bit I think right now I'm gonna see if I have time to record my favorites um, it's not too many too many like new favorites but it's some things that are good to talk about if you guys haven't tried them you could try them out but thanks for hanging out with me today I hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up let me know what you want to see down below I'll add it to the rest of my list that I have going um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for being with me and sticking with me and being a part of my life. I think that's super cool, super, super cool. So, um, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It's free. And um, I hope all is well with you. You guys remember to be blessed, well-dressed, and not stressed. And I'll see you in the next one.